The foreign policy attacks against President Obama continue, uh, this time with John Boehner on the campaign trail. He's bringing up the specter of Vladimir Putin's recent attacks against Ukraine and Crimea. Let's watch. Five years ago, when the President of the United States went to Europe and he went to the Middle East on what I'll call his apology tour. Apologizing for America being strong and apologizing uh, for America leading. And the manifestation of that apology tour is what we see uh, in the chaos going around the world today. Listen, I talk to world leaders every week. They want America to lead. They're begging America to lead. Because when America leads and America is strong, the world is a safer place. And uh, when you look at this chaos that's going on, does anybody think that Vladimir Putin would have gone into Crimea? Had George W. Bush been a president of the United States? Oh, even Putin's smart enough to know that Bush would have punched him in the nose in about 10 seconds. That is unbelievably stupid, and they all laughed. Yeah. No one in that room has any idea of what happens in the news or current events. Yeah. So let's review the record. So number one, if Putin had gone into anywhere that we were allies with, well, Bush, you know, if only he them. had. Oh my, oh, it turns out, well, golly gee, he did. In fact, uh, during 2008, when Bu uh, Bush was in office, uh, he went into Georgia, the territories of, of Abkhazia and South Ossetia, right? Yeah. And what did Bush do? Wait, I think I have it on record here. <laughs> that struck me as we were watching that video, and I was trying to remember the exact year. That's an amazing point. He did the exact same thing. Putin did it on Bush's watch, and Bush was like, huh, wait, wait. <laughs> Well, you look at that. Yeah. You know what he did? He punched himself in the nose. Oh, okay. He went back to clearing brush. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of brush to clear. That's yeah. true. Now, let's show you what uh, Bush. <laughs> Literally. Um, let's show you what Bush uh, did uh, and mm. said about Putin in reality. This was Bush during uh, his administration. Vladimir Putin, when you first met him, you said you, you got a sense of his soul. Uh, but you I looked in his eyes and saw his soul. And later you, you, you told him he was cold-blooded. Yeah, I did. And did you read him wrong? Did he change? What, what can you tell us well, about first, Vladimir Well, first, let me tell Putin? you the story. Uh, we're, Condi and I are in a room in Slovenia. <laughs> in Slovenia. <laughs> Is there any funnier person on the planet? I mean, he just, the way he says a word can put the whole room into a lap. You know what? All those billboards, uh, like along highways, that say, miss me yet? I, I do miss you, buddy. Yeah. Now, so they're, of course, asking him about a quote that he said during his administration, that he looked mm -hmm. into his eyes and saw his soul, and he said that he was a good guy. And so here, he's like, yeah, I did it. Uh, <laughs> I did. But, but it was in Slovenia. <laughs> okay, well, tell us more, Bush. So when I was asked a question, the conversation went on from there. But when I was asked a question, um, do you trust Vladimir Putin in front of a huge press conference after our meeting, uh, my answer was yes. And so I said, yes. And the reporter said, why? And I said, because I looked into his eyes and I saw his soul. Has anyone ever been more wrong? I mean, think <laughs> about that. Think about how, imagine if Obama had said that he stared into Putin's eyes. Oh my God. And saw his soul and that his soul was good. Yeah. Fox, the no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oberyn would look healthy by comparison, okay? <laughs> That's a spoiler. Okay, <laughs> Fox News would look, how could he say that? Not okay. even Putin, if it's any leader, any using leader. that terminology. It, well, except Netanyahu. If he said, well, he yeah. looked in Netanyahu's eyes and fell in love, they'd be like, oh, all right, finally, making sense. Yeah. Okay, now, but for Bush to look into Putin's eyes and see a good soul, the guy's former KGB. The guy, I mean, we, we knew what Putin was. It's not like we just found out about Putin. Yeah. You couldn't have looked into somebody's eyes and seen a, a worse soul. I mean, look, yeah. that's not fair. There's worse souls in the world. And that quote's but, after the invasion. But my point is that what a fool, yeah. right? He looks at a KGB operative who then goes on to invade many countries, yada, yada, and do, do unbelievable yeah. things. And he thinks, oh, this guy's, he's innocent. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's an innocent uh, guy. Good look, good. Yeah. Oh, on, so on, stupid. On soulless eyes alone. Yeah. Yeah, and, and look, I know we're gonna go to more of the, the Putin love and everything, but not only did Bush do nothing during this time, and Boehner's looking back on it, you know, through rose-colored glasses, not only did he do nothing, but Boehner specifically said, when America leads, America is strong. Bush had his chance to lead us. He led us into Afghanistan and Iraq. It led to well, 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 well over a trillion dollars lost, thousands of American dead. And also, by the way, as a small little uh, side note, the creation of ISIS, thanks to the instability that he brought about in Iraq. 
he led, America is not stronger as a result. And actually, I was going, I was going to go back to Boehner's point. In the middle of his little you know, campaign promise, he points out, hey, you know, I talk to world leaders, and they can't wait for America to tell us what to do. What <laughs> countries are you talking to that say, whenever America does something, I'm waiting to follow because they're my yeah. God. Talk about a, a God complex that makes people, that illustrates why people are tired of the way our leaders, at least, are acting that we really yeah. are. Yeah, so <laughs> now uh, we know, though, that the Republicans uh, are all very tough on Putin. Obama's soft on Putin, base. right? But uh, Republicans would just would manhandle him. Yeah. So let's take a look at uh, conservatives and Republicans uh, very recently on yeah. television uh, and wh how they actually reacted to Putin. Vladimir Putin is playing Game of Thrones, and we're playing Downton Abbey. I think Putin is playing uh, chess, and I think we're playing marbles. And I don't think it's even close. Didn't they have a picture of, like, Putin with his shirt off yeah. on, on horseback? And then they have a picture of Obama with his, on his bicycle with his that goofy helmet of his? Obviously, the Russian leader sees himself as a macho man who's going to do pretty much what he wants. The president sees himself as a renaissance man who wants to accommodate. There's even something better. When the last G8 summit took place in Dublin a year ago, President Putin and President Obama both went, and they both wanted to use the same gym at the same time. Mm -hmm. They couldn't share. So it was who got to use the gym. Well, President Obama got to use the gym. Putin, not to be outdone, said, fine, if you guys don't want me in the gym, I'm going to go dive in the icy lake in Dublin. I'm going to do the breaststroke across the lake, and I'm going to one-up you. So what happened? In all the newspapers in Dublin and all the newspapers in Great Britain, in Ireland, there were pictures of Putin shirtless doing the breaststroke, muscles bulging. And then there was the companion picture of President Obama in the gym shirt shooting hoops. I mean, it's embarrassing. Look it. People are looking at Putin as one who wrestles bears and drills for oil. They look at our president as one who wears mom jeans. So, uh, no, John D would have punched him in the face right after they blew him. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I was going to go with hand job. But yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I mean, oh, the way he stroked my breast with his bulge. <laughs> oh, God, he, oh, what a man Putin yeah. is. Oh, I would have looked into his eyes and kept on looking as he took me all night long. <laughs> you see how tough we would have been on Putin? Yeah. Well, we have one more. But it's just Kimberly Guilfoyle uh, also wanted to uh, show her appreciation of Putin. Can I just make a special request in the magic lamp? Can we get like Netanyahu or like Putin in for 48 hours, uh, you know, head of the United States? I don't know. I just want somebody to get in here and get it done right so that Americans don't have to worry and wake up in the morning f fearful. Yeah, so conservatives would have punched Putin in the mouth, uh, except for the fact they would rather have him as the leader of the yeah. United States than Obama. I love the Tom C. Turvey world in which so-called conservatives turn around and say, we should hand the government over to the Russian leader. Yeah, yeah. We need a little bit of red in the White House. <laughs>